everyone, another weekend, another uh, fantastic set of model railway exhibitions. Uh, yesterday we went to Perth Green at Jarrow and uh, spent quite a lot of time appreciating, appreciating the uh, Cholliford layout from the Wally Model Railway Club uh, and when speaking to the man himself about some of the finer detail in his layout, uh, he asked me have we painted our track yet? Uh, before we started ballasting and the answer was no uh, the shock horror so he said you know go quickly and buy some enamel paint and he, he recommended Humbrol but we ended up going with rail match so we have some sleeper grime colour uh, rail match paint and we also have some dark rust um, paint so this is to go on the side of the tracks and the top remains polished off and the sleeper grime is to obviously go on the sleepers and it kind of um, blends them in a little bit better with the ballast that we're using um, I can tarnish off some of the colour to make it look like there's oil spillages on the sleepers which is really effective uh, the, the rust I was a little bit terrified of when I, when I applied it last night. It was very orange compared to the nice shiny track we have there and I thought you know is it gonna stay like this it looks a little bit in your face but it dried up uh, the colour settled down a little bit it's not as bad and I think it's gonna look, look okay once we finish the entire uh, track off um, but from what I've seen of all the model railways that I've looked at in the magazines, they're all rusty. Uh, in reality, they're rusty, so it's got to be rusty. <laughs> so we're going to continue with that. The paintbrush the gentleman recommended yesterday uh, is a humble size 2 paintbrush. Now, I don't know whether it's too soft or whether it's too big, um, but I'm kind of struggling to... To stay within the lines so today we popped into the range and I bought a double O size uh, paintbrush which seems a little bit stiffer and hopefully will do a better job of the finer details uh, so I'm not going over the ballast uh, unfortunately parts of the track are already stuck down so I'm just having to paint um, and avoid the ballast. For the rest of it, we'll just take bits of track off and paint them as we go. Uh, we bought more ballast bond. This stuff is fantastic. Uh, we've been very generous with it now because uh, if we're not, it's not all of the ballast sticks down. And then, you know, we hoover it up. And the great way to do it, by the way, is to use uh, tights over the tip of the hoover uh, so that stops the ballast from being sucked up it stops it from being wasted and we drop it into a little jar and everything is recycled which is fantastic uh, we use like I mentioned earlier we use three tablespoons of double O gauge ballast to one tablespoon of N gauge ballast and that gives us a nice uh, finish on it um, what else? Oh yeah, the paint, it's actually enamel paint, so as I discovered yesterday, it's not very easy to wash it off with water, so we bought some turps today to try and get that off the brush and uh, to get it cleaned up nicely. Uh, so there's some more smells for me to enjoy this evening. Um, we spoke to a gent called Mike yesterday, who normally does talks at Shulman Museum and uh, he's very well informed and I thought this is great I'm going to ask him that question I had about the J94 in last week's uh, video and uh, basically my my query was the box is labelled as Hunslet J94 Sterity it's the um, 8023 number and on Wikipedia the builder uh, is put down as Robert Stevenson Hawthorne and I thought you know has the box been labelled wrong is something not quite right on Wikipedia because you can't always trust it but as it turns out during uh, the wartime Hunslet couldn't produce quite enough engines so the work was commissioned onto other rail companies such as Robert Stevenson and Hawthorne in this case. So I'm, I'm content in that Hunslet is, you know, the, the chief designer of the slow coat and that he basically just commissioned it to be built at different um, places. And I'm happy with that answer. 
so I shan't be investigating any further. Uh, but all this talk about the Joe94s got me interested, and I might purchase some books and read up more because it's a, it's a, oh my goodness, it's a local locomotive. And I've just noticed a spider on this uh, piece of hydrantia, which I picked off the garden for a good reason. Uh, today at Omersby Hall, I don't know if you can see this gorgeous garden spider, I'm not very well informed with spiders, however I am chief spider catcher at home. Here he is. Uh, I think he's more scared than me, so we'll uh, take him outside the next available opportunity and deal with that later. However, at Omensby Hall today I was talking to a gent on one of the um, annual layouts that they've got there all year round and he asked you know how do you make your treats and I said well I use um, wire and I just mold it into the shape of a uh, tree branch and then we use hot glue gun to line it and to thicken the, uh, the the trunk of the tree a little bit and he said well have you tried using um, hydrantia branches and I thought you know I've, uh, I didn't listen to people's advice last year and I didn't chop off the heads of the hydrantias so we've got loads in the front garden which is very convenient so we're going to use that and uh, we're gonna he said use hairspray I'm not sure whether that's going to work I was a bit worried that the solvent might damage some of the um, uh, some of the dyes on the foliage but we'll just stick on some foliage clumps and he also said to use stuffing from teddy bears so I'll see if I can massacre any of my old teddies, which I really don't want to be doing, but I'll uh, see if I can find any stuffing to stick onto the tree, uh, put some foliage over it, maybe stick this, add a few clumps to it, and that should give it a nice effect. This poor spider's sitting on this hydrangea, so I'm going to have to finish this video and uh, put this little creature back where he belongs, because he gave me a massive shock, and I think he's just as shocked as I am. Uh, and that's it for today.